how can they vote against the planet? Mother Earth. Mother Earth gets angry from time to time, and uh, this legislation will help us address all of that. All right, guys, so it seems like the propaganda is almost never ending when it comes to the Democrat Party and the mainstream liberal media, okay? As, you know, the Biden administration, the actual government, is trying to tell us that we're not in a recession, that there is no inflation, and apparently passing the so-called Inflation Reduction Act uh, is going to save Mother Earth, right? According to Nancy Pelosi, okay? According to Nancy Pelosi, uh, however, it seems like <laughs> nobody has told her that, you know, the United States is only responsible for about 15% of the world's emissions, okay? And even if we lowered our emissions, our net emissions to zero, um, I don't think that would have any impact, right? Or the impact that they're claiming that is going to have, okay? It's almost like these people are immune to facts, especially when it comes to this topic of climate change. As you have the mainstream liberal media, also pushing propaganda about this subject as Nate Burleson of CBS This Morning did a segment in which they claim, right, they, they cite a study uh, that points to climate change and high temperatures as a result of climate change as a cause of childhood obesity. Take a look. I'll start this thing off. Right. Okay, so my talk at the table is a new study showing how climate change, specifically higher temperatures, is making our children uh, more inactive and more obese. The study published in a journal Temperature found today's children are 30% less aerobically fit than their parents were at their age. Fewer children are reaching the World Health Organization's recommendation of 60 minutes of exercise a day. Now, listen, it has been a lot hotter hotter and the weather has been crazy but i think it also has to do with technology you know yeah it's, it, it's one thing not to go outside but these kids don't go outside because they can stay inside <laughs> be on their phones play video games and be social without having to go outside and be social did That's you always true. go outside as a kid i, mean, I, I always went outside, outside. Always, on your bike always, playing all the day trees. long all but day. I, I love that it's different now you don't it see as many different. kids outside running yes. around yeah yeah, so even CBS, even the panel wasn't falling for the propaganda that they were told to push from their corporate overlords, right, uh, to fear-monger people about climate change. Oh my God, children are fat because of climate change, because it's too hot. And this claim was instantly mocked, right, by social media as it should be because it is ridiculous on its face, okay? Uh, as Blaze TV personality Sarah Gonzalez said, quote, or their parents are fat and lazy and bad parents didn't even need a study to give you that truth. Stanford professor uh, Jay says public health bureaucrats closed playgrounds, limited kids sports and made a uh, virtue of extended screen time. They closed schools and PE classes in some places. This went on for years. Maybe this headline writer lives in Florida or Sweden and missed the lockdowns. Writer Pradeep J. Shanker says, quote, this may be one of the dumbest things I've read in a while. Former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth Quote, no, no, no. Many factors contribute to children's lack of fitness, but climate change is not one of them. This is propaganda that CBS, as with all mainstream media, pushes to scare Americans into accepting government intervention at any cost against the climate apocalypse. Author Matt Walsh says, yes, climate change is causing childhood obesity and not the fact that parents feed their kids ishy food and let them sit around staring at screens all day. Great piece of reporting here. Writer Cal Becker says, how much fraud can you put into a report? I exercised for hours in 100 plus degree weather and 90% humidity when I was growing up in South Carolina over 30 years ago. Maybe it's the screen time or your idiotic COVID hysteria. No, it couldn't be, you con artist. Colonist uh, Stacy Lennox says, BS, you locked them at home for two years and there's an epidemic of helicopter parents who won't let them engage in unsupervised play. Give me a break. I played outside in upper 90 to 100 degree uh, heat because I was allowed to. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> on the right wing is essentially mocking this idea that um, <laughs> climate change is a cause of childhood obesity. As basically the gist of the study <laughs> argues that because 
kids regulate their body temperatures less than adults. Like for example, they sweat less, which means that they need more blood flow to the skin in order to cool down, which can make their hearts have to work harder than the hearts of an adult. Uh, therefore, therefore, uh, hot temperatures is making it so, um, they don't want to exercise and hot temperatures equals climate change, right? That's basically the gist of the study. Okay. Which again, in my opinion, I, I think that the, uh, logic is a little bit flawed here because there's always been hot temperatures and growing up as a kid um i remember playing outside all the time in hot temperatures okay i remember doing things in hot temperatures that weren't even fun like you know mowing the grass where they push more right if any of you guys ever mowed the grass in a hot summer day where they push more like i had to do growing up yeah that definitely puts some hair on your chest okay that puts some hair on your chest the water hose used to be your best friend for cooling down it was nothing like drinking water out of the water hose right that was the best water ever after playing hide and go seat jumping on the trampoline playing football right <laughs> the things that you do as a kid with other kids in the neighborhood right whether it's hot or cold really um yeah we used to do those things back in the day because we spent a lot less time behind a screen, <laughs> which there have been studies that have found contribute to childhood obesity. The fact that kids are moving less. Well, why are kids moving less? Because they're preoccupied with video games, iPads, cell phones that are being given to kids to make it so basically parents don't need to parent and parents don't need to send their kids outside or to um, you know monitor them while they're outside or whatever. You just give them an iPad and they sit on their iPads all day, not doing anything, not being active. And you know what they're doing while they're not being active, right? Sitting on their iPad, playing their video games, playing Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, right? You know what they're doing? They are eating, right? And what are they eating? It's not carrots and broccoli, okay? It is high calorie dense snacks, food like potato chips, candies, cookies, sodas this is what kids are consuming while they're not doing anything right this is why they're getting fat they're getting fat less physical activity more food more calories it's really that simple it's the same reason any adult gets fat but hey you know what they tell adults that it's okay to be fat okay that you're beautiful if you're fat don't worry about it don't worry about the health problems that comes along with it so we shouldn't be surprised when they try to scapegoat uh climate change as a reason why kids are being fat uh because uh, really to be quite honest with you they don't think people shouldn't take responsibility for their own weight let alone the weight of their kids but again there's other factors as well too that i find to be interesting that cbs doesn't seem to want to talk about or do a segment on which is the pandemic right and the lockdowns and how they have also contributed to childhood obesity which has been studied as well too to be a cause right and i wonder why right i wonder why um well it's obvious when you lock kids down and you tell them that they can't go outside and play, except, you know, BLM and, you know, Antifa, they can go outside and play. And when I mean by play, I mean protest and riot in the street. Um, when you tell kids they can't play, what else are they going to do? They're not going to do anything but, again, sit at home behind their screens and eat a bunch of junk food. They're going to intake more calories. They're going to exercise less, which is going to lead to them getting fat. It doesn't have anything to do with the weather being hot. Again, that's not to say that there are you know, not some parts of the world, some parts of the country where it may be too hot to actually go outside and play. Yes, that is true. There are some places that are generally you know, a little bit too hot during certain times of the year for kids to go out and play. But does that apply all year long? I don't think so. Right? I don't think that applies all year long or really even all day to be quite honest with you because a lot of times in the evening time it cools down okay, and you can go outside and play. But again, let's not sit here and try to blame climate change as a cause of obesity, right? They want to make climate change the cause of everything that they don't like politically, okay? Or that they want to change, right? That's what they want to do or to relieve people of responsibility, right? To relieve parents of their responsibility to make sure their kids are exercising and getting a certain amount of physical activity daily and not brainwashing them behind a computer screen all day right um again it, it just really blows my mind what they will use climate change for right again it, it makes it harder for people to take what you're saying seriously if you're saying 
that that is the cause of everything, right? That's the cause of all our problems. Wow. Incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible. Because even the chief propagandists at CBS weren't buying into the propaganda that they were told to peddle from their mainstream overlord, right? As they were just like, nah, I'm not sure about this one, okay? I think that um, maybe, just maybe, it has something more to do with screen time, the fact that kids are moving less or not going outside to play because, again, they're behind computer screens and video games all day, and they're eating processed, unhealthy um, calorie dense food. I think that has more to do with it than climate change. But what do I know? What do I know? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.